Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of the Supermax Challenge, the MHC for... Oh, it's a tree grown. A tree has grown already? That's, that's incredible. Right, okay, well that's changed my, uh, my, my thoughts for the moment. I will chop this tree. More apples! Seems like that's the prime thing you get, is apples. Right, I've got a plan. For those of you who think I work without a plan, I am going to take my saplings back. I am getting that, aren't I? Yes. Saplings, come with me. That guy's worrying me. And I'm heading back to the village. Right. Is that it? And when I get to the village, I replant these saplings. Right. Village is this way. Surely. I'm a little bit hungry. A few carrots will sort me out there. And there's more to be had back at the village. Right, this is this is something I want to do quite quickly. I'm going to the village and then I'm going on to the... Um, hmm, these might be worth having while I'm here. Always keep to your plan. Never change the plan. Squids. I don't need squids. Not in this game anyway. I think I still need some squid in the very end of my um, Haunted Mansion challenge, which I'm struggling to finish off. Right, back to the village. Plant my saplings near there. Take the, the lights, the torches, from the village, and then run straight off. Right, now where shall I put these? Where's a good handy place. I'm really hoping everything is well in the village. Right. Saplings. Right. I'm going to have a little tree farm. There we go. That's going to go beautifully. Now, I hope everything is well with the villagers, because although they are evil, they are to be treated well. They're not all evil. I'm sure there's just one bad guy in amongst them. But I'm afraid they'll all suffer. You've all got to suffer. This is a subterfuge where I don't let on that I have bad intentions towards them at all. Hi guys. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of them, enough of them around, aren't there? There's, um, there's obviously no, nothing too bad has happened to them overnight. So I, I evidently was far enough away to have not caused them any trouble from visiting zombies. Right, you know where I'm going? I spotted that temple in the distance right at the very beginning, and it's not the great... Oh, hello guys, look, look. Yeah, I know. Right, over we go. Now, we're about midday, aren't we? Which way are you heading? Where am I heading? I'm facing east. It's still morning, really. Right. Now, what will I meet inside this temple? I know the kind of goodies that are there, because I've seen other people's videos, but what I don't know is whether I am going to be met with enemy resistance. Oops. Hi. Right. 
Hey, anyone bad in here? Pretty good. Is he good? Better be no one down here, otherwise there's a big bang and we all disappear. Right, so down here, bone meal and zombie flesh are useful, iron is especially useful, I'm not actually interested in the whole armor this time. There's definitely sounds of um, skelly waiting in the wings somewhere. Now, all of that bonery I'm going to turn into bone meal because that's going to really come in handy. The rotten flesh is not so great, but it will hopefully be... Now, what have I got enough of? <laughs> Diorite. Diorite? Really? Okay. I'll um, pillar my way up with diorite. Now, I'm not hanging around here. I'm going straight off to... Back to the village, because that's where my business is. Oh, I've lost my bearings. Which direction was the village? There it is. I can just see it in the distance. Now, I know there's some other temples somewhere not far away, but that's not really what I'm up to this time. Now, I did think if I see a, a, a cave then I would rush down into it. But otherwise, do I won't bother. Because I know that there is a cave. Ooh, look, there's that lava pit. Yes, I've seen that in other people's videos as well. Right, there is a cave just by the village. And I can get some iron and coal there. Also something... oh, I wondered what that was. Oh, I hear. I think these caves might now be inhabited. Mm, oh well. We've done worse. Now, where was the... Where was the bit? There's the bit. And where was the bit that I saw someone go down into? It was down here, I think. Right, little bit of iron here. Get some blocks while I'm at it. I can hear lava. Right, I'll use a torch for the moment, but oh, <laughs> who's that skellying around? Hmm. Right, he won't be able to get up to me anyway. Okay, get a little bit of iron, definitely get some coal. He's really quite close, isn't he? But hopefully he won't be a problem to me. Just always worry about the idea of that. The Southern Creeper, or the Southern Skelly. Skellies are not too bad. The Southern Creeper is a worry. Um, okay, we need those torches. Right, I think it's about time. Yeah, it's getting down to the end of the day. This is the best moment to Institute a villager lockdown program. So, let's start here. Oh, you've got no door on. You've got door. Um, do a little bit of light up. That uh, should be good. Um, right. Well, I'll wait till you've got someone in before I do anything with you. Oh, they've got, they've got guys inside there already. Hi, hi you. Yeah, yeah, leave the door alone. Mm, we are really at 
nightfall already. Yeah, I'm Guys. No, not even. Oh, now I'm beginning to lose my way. Getting which ones I've done. Um, it really is kind of essential. Right, there's someone in the church. Someone's in this one over here. Let's block them in. Um, zombie here already. Oh, wow. That was some punch. Get off me. Right. That's better. These guys are seemingly okay anyway, aren't they? Hello. Ooh, he's got a sword. I, I could do with that sword. Mm. Don't really want to fight him for it. Oh, wow. Right. So, we're trying to get as many of these... Oh, you fool. Come and get in a house. Yep, yep. Oh, you, I'm sure you can find one somewhere. Right, oh dear. Got guys at the back door there, that's not good. Yes, of course, I should have thought of that. Oh no, 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 this is not, not right. Oh, game over, I'm dead. Wow. Oh well. That's it. That's my November over and done with. Oh well, not much I can do about that then. See you all in December. Right. Well, I'm obviously disappointed by what happened, but I've had a day or so to get over that. I've been thinking about where it all went wrong and... You know, just just what happened, what what occurred out there. I think a lot of it, I can make. Um, I can look back to things that happened on the very first day, and think that it may have stemmed from there, because there was a couple of things where I I forgot to get down any torches from the village while I was going through there. And then I turned my very last log into planks. And between the two of those things, it left me without any light the first night. So I spent a very dark and fairly fruitless night going up and down stairwells and not really achieving very much at all. And um, then that led me to the second episode, which I had to wait a few days before I could record. And I think I put a lot of pressure on myself because I felt that I really had to catch up. I had lots more to do and I made myself a plan which involved doing quite a lot in the daytime before night fell. And what um, I think in retrospect is that I put too many things in that plan because as I finished the last of them off before the boxing in of the villagers, which was going to be the last thing I did before nightfall, I was, um, I was going to be getting some iron and coal from a cave right by the village. And as I came out of that cave, I realised that night was actually falling already, so I was a couple of minutes later in the day. But I wasn't turning back from my plan at that point. Possibly I could have just gone off and done something else away from the village. But as it happened, I, I just plugged on with the plan and night was falling all around me. It's quite a big village with a lot of houses and I was trying to light them up and block them off with villagers inside. And it began to be that um, zombies were turning up villagers weren't all getting in their houses and I was I didn't feel as though I was getting towards the end of the of doing the boxing in of the village and then I attacked one set of zombies and um, took a lot of damage from that and I forgot to eat afterwards as well 
So there was that, and then I went straight on from there, saw the zombie who finally killed me, the one with the iron sword, decided I wasn't going to attack him, and turned back, but then I realised that um, zombies were hurting someone in that house, that same house where I'd, I'd seen him, and I had to do something about it. I felt very protective of them, so I dived back in to take them on. All this time, I totally not realised I'd, I'd not been looking at my screen well enough, so I hadn't seen that... Um, my health was quite low, I was think I was down to about four and a half hearts, and also that I was quite hungry, so I wasn't regenerating. And that really isn't a good state to take on um, zombies, especially as, of course, I already knew the last one who was in the doorway, who had probably been the one who'd hurt the villager through the doorway, so it seems like in 1.8 they don't actually break down doorways anyway, so maybe I was worrying far too much over something that wasn't going to happen. The, um, yeah, that last one was, was quite easily capable of taking me out because I think I was down to two hearts by the time I took him on. So really, all, all in all, I, th I think I can trace back the, uh, the very short season that I've had here to mistakes I made right in the beginning. So anyway, I'm, I'm now here wondering what I'm going to do with my November. And I, I suppose I've got more time than I expected to be able to finish off my October mansion and show that off and I'll have a lot more, a lot of time to watch everybody else's videos but uh, well we shall see I'll, um, I'm standing at the moment in, the, in here in the um, sort of prototype prison I had so many plans for what I wanted my prison to be like I was going to build it underground um, just in the un underneath the village and I, I was gonna, I planned this kind of circular central hub with four uh, walkways or passageways going off from that, each of them with a line of cells along the side of it, which sounds like a big build, but of course you haven't got to use too many building materials. You, you kind of chip it out of the ground, um, so you'd need lots of tools to do it. But it's a, it's a real shame that um, I'm not going to be able to get round to doing that. But I can't say I was unlucky. I think I just made poor choices. But anyway, lots of time on my hands. And I'll definitely be back in December for whatever is going on in the next challenge. So, goodbye everyone. Let's hope I've made the video long enough that people coming to it will not realise that it's significantly shorter than 20 minutes. And they won't. And, and therefore they'll have the surprise of seeing what happens to me halfway through. Bye everyone.